A brand new sculpture of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. is coming to Atlanta, but it's not just any statue. No, it depicts the final public speech that Dr. King gave before his assassination. And the sculpture will be placed in Rodney Cook Senior Peace Park, that's in the Vine City neighborhood, just northwest of Mercedes-Benz Stadium. And that's where Atlanta News First reporter Chelsea Bimefor is live for us tonight. So Chelsea, you got a behind the scenes look. Tell us all about it. We did, and it is truly a one of a kind statue. It's going to be unveiled to the public here at the Peace Park around the 55th anniversary of Dr. King's assassination, and it will join other statues and monuments like this one of Andrew Young, Ambassador Andrew Young, inside the Peace Park. At Inferno Art Foundry in Union City, artists are working hard to finish a new sculpture of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. He's bronze. Um, he's about, I say about, eight foot two. The wind is swirling his robe. The wind represents the spirit. The statue depicts Dr. King's famous I've Been to the Mountaintop speech, given just one day before his assassination in 1968. Which is his final, the last minute and a half that he spoke publicly. I've been to the mountaintop, I've looked over, I've seen the promised land. Kathy Fincher is one of the artists behind the project. Approached by the National Monuments Foundation years ago, she spent months researching Dr. King and found that most current statues don't display his incredible faith. He is the first monument of him actually looking up, talking to God, and his hand is open, not preaching, but his hand is open, receiving vision from God. The design was also influenced by Metro Atlanta artist Stan Mullins, who helped Fincher bring it to life. He explained the multi-step process that began with a clay mold, then a wax covering and a ceramic coating. It's a statue that will last for decades, much like Dr. King's legacy. What we're trying to do is, is keep the focus on the message and, and to really reflect how Dr. King spoke with the Lord and, and how he took that internally and made and created a peaceful movement to change the world. Now we're not sure where in the park yet this monument is going to sit, but once again, it will be unveiled during a public ceremony here on April 1st. Reporting live in Atlanta, Chelsea Bynfor, Atlanta News First. All right, looking forward to seeing it, Chelsea. Thank you.